Have you ever dreamt of stepping back in time, wandering through streets steeped in history and tales of glory? What if I told you that in Rome, every cobblestone, every fountain, and every ancient ruin has a story to tell? Welcome to Exploring the Ancient Wonders of Rome, a timeless adventure where history isn't just read, it's experienced. Join us as we unveil the secrets of the Eternal City, from the mighty Colosseum, the enchanting Trebi Fountain. If you're a history buff, an art lover, or just someone who appreciates the beauty of a city that has stood the test of time, you won't want to miss this journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and become a part of this incredible adventure through time and beauty. Number 10. The Colosseum Welcome to the mighty Colosseum, Rome's very own ancient superstar. This gigantic structure isn't just big, it's colossal, as its name suggests. Built over 2,000 years ago, it's a marvel of ancient engineering and a symbol of Rome's power. Imagine this, it's so huge it could seat about 50,000 spectators. That's like a whole town's population in ancient times, all cheering for their favorite gladiator. Speaking of gladiators, these were the rock stars of ancient Rome, battling it out in thrilling, sometimes brutal combat. But the Colosseum wasn't just about gladiator fights, it also hosted mock sea battles, exotic animal hunts, and even public executions. Talk about varied entertainment. And fun fact, did you know this amphitheater had a retractable roof? Yep, ancient Romans were way ahead of their time. Number 9. Venice Square Next up is Venice Square, a delightful mix of the past meeting the present. This isn't just any square. It's like Rome's living room where history, art, and everyday life come together. The star attraction here is the Vittoriano, a monument so grand it would make any other building have a serious case of envy. It's not just a pretty face though. This monument is a tribute to King Victor Emmanuel II, the first king of a united Italy, symbolizing the country's unification and independence. Think of it as Italy's very own thank you note to its first king, but in marble and grandeur. Inside, you'll find the Central Museum of the Risorgimento, which is like a treasure trove of Italy's journey to becoming a nation. It's got everything from historical documents to relics. History buffs, you're in for a treat. Number 8. The Pantheon Now, get ready to be blown away by the Pantheon, a building that's been standing strong for almost two millennia. This isn't just any old temple, it's a masterpiece of ancient architecture. The Pantheon is like the granddaddy of all domes, with a design so perfect, architects today are still scratching their heads wondering, how did the Romans do it? The dome has this fantastic oculus at the top, a fancy word for a hole, but this hole is what makes the inside feel like you've stepped into a sunbeam spotlight. And here's a quirky fact, when it rains, the water comes straight through the oculus, but don't worry, there's drainage, those Romans thought of everything. The Pantheon isn't just about architectural genius, it's also a VIP resting place for some of Italy's big names, like the artist Raphael and two Italian kings. Number 7. Navona Square Welcome to Navona Square, where art and history dance in a Baroque embrace. This square is like an open-air museum, flaunting some of the most jaw-dropping fountains and sculptures you'll ever see. The showstopper here is Bernini's Fountain of the Four Rivers, a sculptural marvel that features the big rivers from the four known continents back then. And let me tell you, those river gods look like they're having quite the debate over who's the mightiest. The square isn't just a feast for the eyes, it's also buzzing with life. You've got street artists sketching portraits, musicians strumming away, and performers that can make you laugh and gasp within the same minute. And if you're feeling peckish, the surrounding cafes are perfect for some people watching while sipping on a cappuccino. Number 6. Castel Sant'Angelo Next, let's dive into the intriguing world of Castel Sant'Angelo, a structure that's been everything from an emperor's tomb to a papal fortress. This castle is like a Swiss army knife of history, it's had so many uses. Did you know it started as a mausoleum for Emperor Hadrian? Over the centuries, it transformed into a fortress, a prison, and now, a museum where you can explore its multifaceted past. And yes, there's a secret passageway to the Vatican, known as the Passetto di Borgo. It's like the ancient version of an escape route for popes in peril. Inside the castle, every room tells a different story, from lavish papal apartments to grim prison cells. There's even a terrace with a stunning view of Rome, perfect for those insta-worthy shots. Number 5. St. Peter's Basilica 
Now, brace yourselves for the awe-inspiring St. Peter's Basilica, an architectural and artistic masterpiece that's as heavenly as it gets. This isn't just a church, it's a monumental tribute to faith, art, and human achievement. The basilica's grandeur is spellbinding, with its towering dome designed by Michelangelo. Inside, you'll find a treasure trove of art, including Michelangelo's Pieta, a sculpture so beautiful it could bring a tear to your eye. And let's not forget Bernini's Baldacchino, a bronze canopy over the altar that's so ornate. It's like it came straight out of a king's dream. The basilica is also home to tombs of popes, and each one is a masterpiece. For those who aren't afraid of heights, climbing up to the cupola offers a view of Rome that's nothing short of divine. And while you're up there, take a moment to marvel at how this basilica has stood as a symbol of hope and beauty for centuries. Number 4. The Pincio Hill all right, time for a breather at Pincio Hill, the perfect spot to soak in Rome's beauty without breaking a sweat. This hill is more than just a pretty view, it's like a balcony over the eternal city. As we stand here, we're treated to a stunning panorama that stretches from the Vatican domes to the ancient rooftops. And when the sun sets, it's like Rome is showing off with a light show of golden hues. Absolutely Instagram-worthy. Pincio Hill is not just about the view though, it's a historical treasure, dating back to when the ancient Romans partied in their gardens here. Today, it's a peaceful escape, with manicured gardens and dreamy pathways, ideal for pondering life or just daydreaming about being a Roman emperor. And if you listen closely, the rustling leaves might just whisper ancient secrets. Number 3. Villa Borghese Next, we're off Villa Borghese, Rome's own slice of paradise. This isn't just a park. It's a grand green canvas, splashed with art, nature, and history. Stretching over 80 hectares, it's like nature's own art gallery, dotted with sculptures, fountains, and even a lake where you can row a boat like you're in a romantic movie. The paths here are like a journey through a storybook, leading you from one picturesque spot to another. And let's talk about the Galleria Borghese. It's like the cherry on top. This gallery is packed with masterpieces by big names like Caravaggio, Raphael, and Titian. It's so full of art, you might feel like you've stepped into a renaissance party. Plus, there are secret gardens, a zoo, and even a replica of Shakespeare's Globe Theater. Number 2. Spain Square Let's wander over to Spain Square, a place where Rome's elegance and history hold hands. This square is a bustling stage set with the Spanish steps, a stairway that's not just for climbing, but also for pausing and taking in the vibes. And at the foot of these steps, the Barcaccia fountain bubbles away, designed by Bernini's dad. Talk about a talented family. The square is a magnet for fashionistas, thanks to the chic boutiques lining the streets. It's like a runway show where the latest fashion meets timeless architecture. And for the literature buffs, the Keats Shelley Memorial House is a must-visit. It's where the poet Keats spent his last days, and it's as poetic as it sounds. Spain Square is more than just a spot on the map, it's a lively blend of art, history, and modern Roman life. Number 1. The Trevi Fountain And for our grand finale, we arrive at the Trevi Fountain, the superstar of Roman fountains. This isn't just a fountain. It's a Baroque masterpiece that's as dramatic as an Italian opera. Standing 26 meters high and 20 meters wide, it's like the King of Fountains decided to set up his throne in Rome. The sculptures here are a blend of mythology and art, with Neptune, the god of the sea, ruling the scene. And let's talk about the tradition, tossing a coin into the fountain. Legend has it, if you throw a coin over your shoulder, you'll return to Rome. It's like a magical promise to come back to this eternal city. And that wraps up our journey through Rome's enchanting wonders. If you enjoyed this adventure, give us a thumbs up and share your favorite Roman experience in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to join our community and stay updated on more exciting travels.